My name is Dr. David Boschel. I'm a vascular and interventional radiologist and I work at uh, Sydney Adventist Hospital. Uh, CERT or SIRT is a selective internal radiation therapy and it's a homegrown technology that was developed in Western Australia um, through the um, 90s and has been introduced into worldwide clinical practice for almost 20 years now. It is an internal radiation treatment as opposed to an external radiation treatment and it is a treatment that is designed to be organ specific in this case for the liver. Why do we have such a treatment? Well the problem with external radiation therapy is that external radiation therapy needs to be delivered through areas of the body wall and therefore there is a risk of collateral damage. The other problem is that organs in the body can actually move. For example, when you breathe, the liver moves up and down and therefore it can be quite hard to provide a single target um, with an external beam radiation treatment. Whereas with internal radiation therapy, the radiation is delivered in a different fashion and we deliver the radiation therapy bound to millions of tiny little microspheres that are injected through the blood supply uh, to the target organ, in this case the liver and we position our tubes and devices exactly in the right spot where we know that the blood flow is supplying the areas of disease in the liver and then we can actually inject our microspheres which are bound with radiation and the radiation will preferentially flow into areas of disease in the liver and only a small amounts of treatment will be delivered to areas of the normal liver and what that allows us to do is to deliver high amounts of radiation that will be therapeutic for the disease in the liver with a minimum of risk to the normal liver tissue. We know from using it in what we would call a salvage situation where people who have used all the existing standard of care treatments or and are no longer perhaps um, in a medical situation where they can keep going with their standard of care treatments, we know that this therapy can actually once again gain control of disease it's very useful in the situation where perhaps chemotherapy is no longer being effective in, tu in uh, tumor therapy and it may actually be able to make the other therapies effective again. And in people who perhaps can't have surgery, then this is another option that they can actually have. The interesting thing is that we're now developing large amounts of research and worldwide trials and, and very good high quality evidence that is starting to show us that we can actually use this in an effective fashion for common diseases of the liver such as secondary bowel cancer.